after long time i have prepared a very interesting tutorial for you guys in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to create this brand new cinematic title animation inside of davinci resolve 16. so i am vikash for skyline motions and without any further ado let's take a new project and get started Alright, so before we get started, we have to do some basic settings. So just click on this little gear icon over here and set the size of this project 1920 by 1080 and let's go with any frame rate. So in this case, I am going with 30 or 60 frame per second. So let's go with 30 frame per second and I'm going to set this playback frame rate equal to this timeline frame rate. So I'm going to set this value 30 and click on save and now let's create this cinematic title animation inside of this fusion page so we have to take a new fusion composition so just go to this media pool right click on that and click on this new fusion composition and let's call it anything so i'm going to call it fusion comp and set the duration of this composition something around three seconds long which is good enough for one text and set this frame rate 30 and click on create and just drag this fusion comp on this timeline then go to your fusion page here we get media out node so just drag this media out to the side for now and now to create this animation we need some assets so just go to this media pool right click on that and click on this import media and in this tutorial we need two assets flare and sock wave that i have given a link in the description so just go to the link and download these assets and just select it and click on open and now let's import this sock wave first so just drag this sock wave on this flow window and uh, let's rename it so hit f2 on the keyboard to rename and i'm going to call it shock wave Hit OK. Just drag this sock wave to the viewer. Close this media pool. And as you can see, we have something like this. And now we have to attach a transform node with this sock wave. So just select this sock wave clip and click on this button and add a transform node just after this sock wave and just drag this transform to the viewer. And now I want to scale this up so select this transform one and go to this uh, inspector window and here we get this uh, size parameter so just set this size something around 1.5 hit enter all right and now i'm going to create one more copy of this sock wave so we have to take one more transform node so just drag this transform on this flow window and connect the output of this sock wave with this second transform and just drag this second transform to the viewer and now for this one let's down the size a bit so so the size of this sock wave something around 0.5 and now let's merge both the outputs so we have to take a new merge node so just drag this merge on this flow window and i'm going to use this output as a background and the second one as a foreground so just connect this yellow background point with this transform one and green foreground point with this transform two and just drag this merge one to the viewer and now i want to make this a black portion transparent so select this merge and just go to this inspector window and let's change this blending mode so i'm going to set this normal to screen mode and as you can see it's looking much more better all right and now let's do one more thing just right click on this flow window and go to arrange tool and turn on this grid snapping and uh, arrange these nodes on this grid just like that all right and now we have to take a text node so just drag this text on this flow window and now let's merge this text with this sock wave so we have to take one more merge node so just drag this merge on this flow window 
and uh, I'm going to use this output as a background and this text as a foreground. So connect this yellow background point with this uh, merge one and connect this green foreground point with this text and just drag this text over here. And now let's type a text. So select this text one and here is a styled text. So let's type over here. So type anything that you want. And now just drag this merge to to the viewer and as you can see it's looking like this so just go to fit and set it to 100% and now it's looking perfect and uh, now let's adjust the size font and other things so select this text and select your favorite font style so in this case I'm using architect bold font style And now let's set the size of this text. So I'm going to set this value something around 0 0.07. All right, click on this fit button. It's looking perfect. And now I'm going to animate the size of this text. So just go to around frame number 30, which is equal to one second according to 30 FPS. Just right click on this size property click on animate and go to very beginning of this animation and let's set the size of this font something around 0.15 all right and just go to this spline window hit f4 on the keyboard to full screen and check this size in this text section and click on fit button and here is our both keyframes. So just select these keyframes, hit S to smooth and set the CTI at very beginning of this animation on frame number zero and hold this point and set this handle just like that and hold this handle also and just set it like this and create a nice smooth curve and close this spline window. All right, so just go to this playback and set this proxy mode to quarter resolution and go back to very first frame and let's play this again. And now it's a smooth. And as you can see, it's looking perfect. All right, and now let's do some adjustment with the text. So just go to this proxy mode and turn off this. Uh, set the scale value to 100%. Just select this text and uh, go to this setting tab, go to this property and here is type. So just change this solid to gradient color. And now let's adjust this gradient bar and create a reflective glossy metallic kind of a texture by using this setting gradient. So just select this end point and make it pure white and select this end point and make it pure white and click over here in the center of this gradient bar and uh, add another gradient point and for this one set this dark gray color just like that and just set this point right over here maybe 0.6 and just drag this end point right over here and set this value something around 0.65 all right and now as you can see it's looking like a metallic signing glossy text and let's do some adjustment with this one so set this value is something around 0.2 all right and as you can see it's looking much more interesting and uh, now just go to very beginning of this animation and click on fit button and after that let's create a uh, lens flare kind of uh, effect so we have to import lens flare file so just go to this media pool and let's import this flare on this flow window close this media pool hit f2 on the keyboard to rename and let's call it flare hit ok and now just drag this flare on this uh, preview window and now I want to use this section only so for that 
we need to add a ellipse mask with this so select this flare add an ellipse mask with this place it like this and uh, just drag this ellipse over here and just set it like this and now let's make this edge smooth so select this ellipse go to this inspector window set this softness something around 0 0.07 all right and after that let's add a transform node so just select this flare and add a transform just after this flare and now let's merge this flare with this uh, main output so we have to take a new merge node and just connect this yellow background point with this main output and green foreground point with this transform 3 and just drag this merge 3 to the viewer so just set this value to 100 percent and now i want to change this uh, anchor point in the center of this flare so select this transform and here is pivot point or anchor point so just drag this value and set this anchor point in the center of this light flare right over here and after that just select this transform and set this just like that and now let's blend this uh, lens flare with the background so select this merge 3 and just go to this uh, inspector window and change this blending mode normal to a screen and now it's looking perfect and just placed it over here and let's scale it up a bit so just select this transform and set the size of this something around 1.3 hit enter all right and now let's animate the lens flare also so just go to on frame number 30 which is equal to one second and uh, click on fit button and lock this size value on frame number 30 and go to very beginning of this animation and let's uh, scale it up so just select this transform and uh, set this value something around 4 hit enter all right and now let's make this animation smoother so just go to spline window hit f4 on the keyboard to full screen and for this time uncheck this text one and check this transform three size only and click on fit button and select these both keyframe hit s on the keyboard to smooth and set the CTI at very beginning of this animation at frame number zero and let's create a smooth graph so just drag this handle like this hold this point also and just set it like this and make it smoother and close this spline window all right and just go to playback set it to quarter resolution and let's take a look all right so it's looking awesome and now let's do one more thing just select this transform 3 and go to the end of this animation and uh, just animate this uh, center value so just place it over here and right click on center click on animate and go to very beginning of this animation and now just drag this lens flare right over here so now we have an animation just like that all right and finally we have to add a color corrector node with this so select this merge 3 and add a cc color corrector node and just drag this color corrector to the viewer and go to menu and change this to levels and change this channel rgb to blue channel and set this mid tone something around 1.6 hit enter and click on fit button and now it's looking much more better all right and finally we have to connect this media out so just connect the output of this color character with this media out and then go to edit page and set this proxy mode off 
and uh, let's do one more thing just go to timeline and go to output blanking and set this value 2.35 and create an aspect ratio just like that and now you can create multiple text so just select this fusion comp hit ctrl c to copy and set the cti over here hit ctrl v to paste and just place this cti on this second fusion composition and then click on this fusion page and here just select this text and change your text that you want just like that and then go to your edit page and now just go to the very beginning of this animation turn on this loop button and let's have a look all right so it's looking awesome and that's all for this tutorial guys i hope you like it if you like it then hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get notified when i will upload my new video and also hit the like button and i will see you in next tutorial till then bye bye